Good morning. Good morning. Let me guess. And the newlyweds having a great time wish you were here. Right and wrong. They don't wish you were here. Well, they're evidently having a wonderful time without any of us. Mm-hmm. Want to know where they went on their honeymoon? Not really. Want to know when they'll be back from their honeymoon? No, Mother. Frankly, I couldn't care less. Somehow, I just don't believe that. Believe it, it's over. Caroline and I are ancient history. Mm. And you're prepared to deal with that. Look at me. Do I look like a rejected lover? I just don't believe that you don't still hurt deep inside. Mother, enough. I'm fine. The only thing bothering me right now is that remodeling going on upstairs. Well, I'm trying to get it done as quickly as I can, so it'll be finished when they get back from their honeymoon, and then they'll find a place of their own. Isn't there something else we can talk about? Christmas. What about it? You're going to go to Switzerland? You're going skiing? I've got uh, plane tickets and hotel reservations, but I'm still not sure. Tickets? Naturally. Anyone special in mind? Oh, possibly. Mm -hmm. Brooke Logan? Maybe. You can do better than that. Logan's all right. She's a very sexy lady. An obvious one. You really have a thing against her, haven't you? I don't like the whole Logan tribe. I've told you that. Yes, you have said that. They're so sweet and humble. They try too hard. Too hard for what? To ingratiate themselves. Mother, isn't it possible that's the way nice, decent people act and react? I'd like to think so. But with the Logans, it's something else. I can sense it. And I'm going to find out what it is. How are you going to do that? I have a little plan. I can't tell you how good it is to see your ugly face, Rockhead. Huh. And after you swore you'd never come through those doors again. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? I meant it, too. Huh. But, you know, I got a little homesick. Missed my Stacy girl. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Tell me why I don't believe you came all the way down here just to see me. Oh, man. I... What other reason would I have? Her shift starts in five minutes. She should be walking through those doors any second now. Ah. Uh. Thought so. Meanwhile, I got customers. Hey, knock them dead. Hey, with this food, it'll be easy. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Here she comes. you. Oh, admit it. You loved it. No, I didn't. You did. You did. Come on. <laughs> morning. I've been dying for you to get here, and all you can say is good morning. That anxious to find out what happened last night? You bet I am, and don't you leave out one juicy detail. <sighs> Where do I begin? Where did he take you? Jason's? Not quite. Then where? Would you believe his place? Oh, no. <laughs> what happened? You wouldn't believe it if I told you. and the beautiful. This portion sponsored by Nuprin. Discover the medicine in these little yellow pills. Oh, 
Okay, Kristen. Out with it. Okay, okay. It's much too good to keep to myself anyway. First of all, he was coming on to me all night. Now, for some reason, that really doesn't surprise me. <laughs> so did you put him in his place? No, I went along with it. Kristen. <laughs> then he made the specialty of Shay Clark. Shay Clark? Oh, pasta Primavera. And proceeded to ply me with glass after glass of Chianti. <laughs> Would you accept it? Graciously. Oh, Kristen, my goodness. Well, we did the basic small talk over dinner. Then he questioned me about my past, about my relationship with guys. Really? I told him there were very few. <laughs> oh, the truth? <laughs> he wondered why, asked if I had any hang-ups. I told him no. Oh, did he believe you? No, he wanted proof. <laughs> oh, no, you didn't. Ah, well, I continued to be more and more aggressive until finally I got up, told him I wanted to get a little more comfortable. <laughs> then I went to the bathroom, I turned on the shower. <laughs> You're kidding. <laughs> no, but wait, this is the best part. After a while, I heard him go into this bedroom. Uh, probably to adjust the mirrors on the ceiling. <laughs> probably. <laughs> anyway, then I slipped out the front door completely unnoticed. You left? Oh, oh, without a word or a warning, you just took off? Well, actually, I left a message in lipstick on his mirror. Never make love on a full stomach. I don't know. I don't get it. I thought you liked him. I do. I think he's a very cute guy. In fact, maybe one of the cutest guys I've ever met. You do? Does that surprise you, Margo? Well, if you like him so much, why did you just take off? Kristen, do you have hang-ups with men? Knock, knock. I hope I'm not interrupting. So, um, I heard through the grapevine that doing a little bit of modeling. Yeah, I guess you could say that. Yeah? All right. That's always been your dream. Yeah. Well, so, are you making major bucks or what? Huh. But I do have an offer that could bring me in some pretty good money. Yeah? Well, are you gonna take it? Thinking about it. Hey, great. That's cool. What about Mark? What about him? Well, how's it going between you two? Not so good. Really? I mean, really. Marco, I just don't think my relationship with Mark is going anywhere. That's terrible. Marco, I'm serious. OK. Well, what are you going to do about it? I don't know. I mean, Mark really and truly loves me. And you couldn't find a sweeter guy. I just don't think we're very compatible people. All right, look, what you gotta do is you gotta, you gotta march right in there and tell him that. You can't keep living a lie. Marco, I can't do that. Are you happy with the way things are going now? No. All right, then it's up to you to make the change. If you don't, you're not being fair to yourself. Well, you're right. I mean, I know you're right. All right, so go do it. Now. Well, what about work? Work, work. What, well, work and wait? Well, Mark's at home studying. You know, I really don't want to interrupt him. Look, if you don't do it now, you might never do it, all right? I guess you're right. It's really going to devastate him, though. Mark's been so honest and so loyal. I guess it's something that has to be done. You bet it is. So just do it. You know, Rocco, this is going to be one of the most difficult things I've ever done in my whole life.
come on in. You didn't say that last night. I know this is terribly rude, but uh, will you excuse us for a few minutes? I'll loan you my office. Well, Miss Houdini, what do you have to say for yourself? Well, what do you have to say for yourself? Thanks for a wonderful night. What? Didn't you have fun? Yes, I suppose I did. But I must congratulate you. Never in my life have I seen a disappearing act atop yours of last night. Thank you. Walking through walls. Utterly amazing. It just proves that the body is quicker than the eye. You mean it was a trick? You didn't go through that wall? Sorry to disappoint you. You did more than disappoint me, honey. Oh? I had a contract all drawn up. We were going to make millions. People would line up for miles just to watch you go in and out of bathrooms. <laughs> Will you stop? You're not really mad at me, are you? You pay my water bill. What? Shower must have been on a half an hour before I went in there. Oh, I'll pay it. <laughs> Do you put all your dates through this? No, as a matter of fact, you're the first. <laughs> it's an honor of sorts, I suppose. Was it really that bad? Does it get any better? There's one sure way of finding out. Encore? A restaurant this time. Not Italian. Then we're on. Sure. I'll call you. Right. I will. Great. Oh, almost forgot. I uh, got you a little gift. I know it's something you need. Clark, you didn't have to do that. Hope it's the right shade. I had trouble matching the color on the mirror. Please help me to be as kind and gentle as possible. Here goes. Mark? Donna, is that you? You're still in bed. Actually, I was, I was just getting up. You don't have to get up on my account. Yeah, I do. I mean, today was the day I was going to get you your Christmas present. My Christmas present? Yeah, I, I thought you might want to pick it out. Well, Mark, if it's a Christmas present, I want it as a surprise. You do? Well, how about if, if uh, we go pick mine out then? Mark, what is with you? Why are you acting so weird? I don't know what you mean, Donna. Come on, let's go. Mark? You've been drinking. I'm ready, Marky. Marky. Uh oh. Who are you? Donna, I, I can't explain. And why are you wearing my bathrobe? Uh, I'll change. No, don't bother. Just get out of my house. But, but Marky, but my clothes. Go. So, Mark, you want to explain? <sighs> I'd use a bias cut on the skirt. Think about a scooped out neckline for the jacket. Interesting thought. Both of them. I'll consider it. You're good, Margo. I'm getting better. 
If you're looking for Kristen, I saw her walking to the showroom with Clark Garrison. No, I'm not looking for Kristen. Do you have any plans for dinner? It's possible. Well, either you do or you don't. Bill said something about... But nothing definite. How about our having dinner? <laughs> Rebound, Rich. I told you that's over. Caroline's married to my brother now. Oh, a wedding ring. Well, that never stopped you before. You say. You don't know that for a fact, do you? About dinner. Then do it. Don't let Spencer get overconfident. And it won't be one of those stodgy old clubs that he takes you to. With the young people, dancing, something very romantic. Just like it used to be for us. Mm, better. Hello. Oh, hi, Bill. Okay. 7.30, that'll be great. All right. See you later. Is that for dinner or breakfast? You're wondering if you did the right thing. Am I? I wanted to talk to you about some plans I had for the holidays. Switzerland. Skiing, the two of us. I don't believe you. Then call my bluff. Cancel out with Spencer. I'll fill you in on all the details. I want you there with me, Margot. As much as I would like to. Then do it. I can't. Too bad. Could have been fun. Go ahead, Mark. Explain. Try me. There is no good explanation. You're damn right there's no good explanation. I've always been good to you, and I've been loyal to you. And what do I get in return? Some bimbo in my Daughter, bathroom the second I turn me. my back! Forgive you, Mark? No, not for this. What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm throwing your butt out of my apartment. It's our apartment. It's not anymore. Donna, one more chance, please. And to think I felt sorry for you. Poor Mark. So innocent, so honest. She was the first, I swear. I don't want to hear it. Just take your clothes and get out of here. Don't be sorry, Donna. Tomorrow, you are going to be begging me to come back. That'll be a cold day in hell, Mark. Now go! I did. I did it. And you could have made it easier. I did it!
Jewelry provided by Stephen Dweck. Join us again for the bold and the beautiful.